fan and steel type incision approach to the symphysis and anterior pelvis didactic video. This video was produced from a book source shown below. We would like to thank editor Kirschbormer, F. A. Al. Citation Kirschbormer, F. A. Al. Operative approaches in orthopedic surgery and traumatology. Themi, 2015. Kirschbormer, F. A. Al. Principal indications. 1. Symphysis rupture. 2. Medial pubic bone fractures. 3. Symphysiodesi. Positioning and incision. The operation is performed with the patient placed supine on a standard or carbon operating table. The leg on the injured side is draped to allow free movement and the genital area must also be covered by sterile drapes. Depending on the injury pattern, the incision is either an extension of the vertical lower abdominal laparotomy incision or, in the case of isolated pelvic fractures, a transverse fan and steel type incision approximately one finger breadth above the usually palpable pubic tubercle figure. After the subcutaneous tissue has been divided, the linear alba is sought and split lengthwise. Figure. The bladder is then palpated cautiously and retracted cranially. Extra caution is required in revision surgery to avoid bladder injury because adhesions may be present. The muscle bellies of rectus abdominis are retracted laterally on both sides. 1. Rectus abdominis. 2. Linea alba. 3. Pyramidalis. After the subcutaneous tissue has been divided, the linea alba is sought and split lengthwise. The bladder is then palpated cautiously and retracted cranial figure. Extra caution is required in revision surgery to avoid bladder injury because adhesions may be present. The muscle bellies of rectus abdominis are retracted laterally on both sides. Figure. Exposure of the symphysis with the bladder retracted cranially. 1. Rectus abdominis. 2. Bladder. 3. Superior pubic ramus. 4. Symphysis. The attachment to the pubic tubercle is often partially avulsed on one side. Complete division of the rectus abdominis is not usually necessary. The symphysis and medial parts of the pubic rami can now usually be visualized readily from the cranial aspect. The bladder can be retracted in posterior superior direction with a broad spatula. Figure. Exposure of the symphysis with the bladder retracted cranially. 1. Rectus abdominis. 2. Bladder. 3. Superior pubic ramus. 4. Symphysis. Wound closure. During wound closure, the rectus abdominis is reattached with transosseous sutures, and the linear alba is closed securely to avoid the development of a hernia. Dangers. Possible complications of this approach include bladder and peritoneal injuries and postoperative hernias. Thanks for watching.